<laughs> All right, today is a very big day. Yeah. Max Aww. is eight weeks old. Yes. And we are moving into the wall oh. tent. You excited, buddy? Yeah, are you excited? <laughs> Bump it dum. Summer is here. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> It looks so good in here, Lou. Nice, right? Max, you're home! Wow! Nice velcro, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that, Max. Sorry. Nice velcro. Welcome to our home. The baby is sleeping. And it feels so crazy to have arrived. I've kind of unpacked us a little bit. The kitchen has most of its stuff here. Um, it's definitely gonna be a process of like getting settled here. We wanna make sure that we put everything away. We've got a lot of these green boxes, these things, because there are like animals out here. I mean, he put out like those hunting cams um, and saw bear, saw raccoons, um, obviously tons of deer, but we're not trying to like leave food and even like, I remember like toothpaste, isn't that a thing? Like if there's toothpaste out, then bears can come get that. So I'm just trying to like organize stuff. I'm like, can I leave this out? It just feels really, really special to be here. And weird too. So many things that we've done in the past. I don't know if you're new here. Hi, I'm Dana. I just had a baby eight weeks ago and I'm still figuring out how to do this thing. It's like, no, it's like riding a bike. And I'm taking it really, really easy. Like there's gonna be no rush, but I did want to just say hi because I miss making videos and it feels like we're about to like start something really special because we get to like actually build something here that doesn't have to move and I can see it in Lou's eyes like he's just investing so much of his soul into this land and I'm really excited to do the same and now that I think we're up here full time we can start doing that so here's to the first day first day in the wall tent and definitely the first night. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Max is asleep wow. and yeah, it's going really well. Wow, I tried to organize the kitchen a little emotional. bit. You did so good, babe. I just wanted to build us a home, you know? You really did. <sighs> and it feels so safe with Freya up here too. Yeah. Max is snoozing. <laughs> is he? Yeah. He loves the fresh air. He really does. Oh, <sighs> babe, I'm so grateful for you. The sun just like doesn't set here. <laughs> Right? It's set on the other parts of the mountain. Really? Yeah, it's cold in the forest. I love you so much. I love you. Thanks for building us a home. Okay, reporting live from the kitchen. We've got a baby. We've got a dog. 
Lou is going to have us do a pasta dinner, but I didn't, he didn't get any veggies for that. So I'm going to do instead, make a curry. I have onion, I have garlic, I have ginger, I have lentils, and I have some carrots. So I'm going to figure out how to cook in the wall tent. It's pretty exciting. This is the only cutting board we have? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somehow, my making dinner has turned into Lou making dinner. Max didn't want to be in the carrier, he just wanted to be held. And we kind of are on whatever Max wants to do mode. <laughs> so what do you think of your kitchen? I like it. Right? That's nice. We got Freya. This might be our nicest kitchen, yeah. I think so. Of all the kitchens we've built and worked in. I love it. The backdrop is really pretty. We've got a little you. Feels like a restaurant kitchen. All my shots are shaky because I'm bouncing with the baby. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What should we get? Come and get it, Mr. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like my parents were like, wait, you're gonna cook in the tent after you saw a bear on the cam? Like, what else are we supposed to do? Are you nervous about the bear? No, we got this bear hunter. She's sleeping on the job. Freya, will you hunt the bear for us? <sighs> <laughs> First dinner in the tent. Yeah, crazy, huh? Yeah. So we've got our watchdog in front of the door and then I've barricaded it with our storage boxes for now just to keep the raccoons out. I think tomorrow I'll figure out a better system. And we've got our lights, which are very nice. These lanterns for evening time. Is Mama Bear ready for her first tent night? I just like put out a bunch of different outfits for him depending on how cold it gets and made my diaper station you just click and it goes on always red mm -hmm. cool yeah this is better because it's like nice to not wake up fully when you're like changing a diaper or feeding in the middle of the night and these while they seem like dim now they're gonna be really bright when you're like when it's pitch black out this is perfect um could i just get one of your fleeces out <sighs> wow, we made it through our first night as a family in the wall tent. Nothing major to report. It got a little cold, but we have some really fancy um, Norwegian cold weather gear for Max. Look at the sunrise. And there was a coyote outside the front door at one point. Freya went ballistic and we never heard from the coyote again. Yeah, you did girl. Ah, nothing better than a sunny morning after a night in a tent. I feel like you really earn your sunrises. I slept like a baby last night, by which I mean I slept almost not at all. And now I'm gonna make some coffee.
All right, so we have decided that today we're gonna try and tackle laundry in our little off-grid tent. Dana went into town to wash all the clothes and I'm in charge of installing the laundry line. She actually came up with this pretty cool idea, which is we'll tie it to the top of the bed and then I'm gonna mount a pole down in the field where it's really sunny all day long. And we'll try and make some sort of system that loops together so she can stand here in the shade and feed the laundry down and then watch Max who will just be like chilling in bed because it's a little too hot and sunny for him to be down there for that long. And this way it's like one thing she can do on her own. Um, obviously I'll help like set up the line and everything, but I feel like it's nice for her to like find things she can do at the same time while watching Max because it's hard to get things done and things go a lot quicker when there's two of us doing them. All right, this is ready to go. I added this guy so it would remind us of the boat. And then it goes through here, onto here, and then we have an infinite loop with the rope kind of just glued together from melting it. I don't know if it'll be strong enough. We'll see if it all falls, but it's nice because it's adjustable and it's removable. Um, this is stainless and this is stainless, but this one, they didn't have like nice stainless stuff at the hardware store, so. Want to put the laundry up? I'm super impressed. Give me one second, I'll grab them. His little baby clothes. Right? They're so tiny. I know, they don't be too heavy. That's how I feel holding your laundry. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, the shower is officially done. It's installed here. We got this car mirror and the gravel on the rock is so that you don't get muddy feet every time you shower, which is getting kind of old.
Hello and welcome back to the wall tent. It's honestly been a while since we tried to move in. I think we tried to move in in the middle of July when the wall tent was finished and it was so exciting. But I don't know if anyone else is on the East Coast this summer, but the heat wave has been so intense. Um, and with a baby, it was just really hard because the temperatures in the tent would be like 100 degrees and then at night it'd be like 40 degrees. And also our little buddy, our son has club foot and while you can like see this when they are first born, his apparently wasn't so bad because they could like move his foot around. But then when we went to get an orthopedic consult, I guess now three weeks ago, turns out they wanted to do the full treatment for him. And so he's been in casts, which makes hot temperatures way more challenging because he basically is like in a snowsuit on the bottom half because the cast goes all the way up to his hip or no yeah his hip so long story short Lou is moving in to the tent with Freya and uh Max and I are doing part-time and we're gonna be staying at my parents place that's just a few minutes down the road um and that just works for us right now and while it wasn't like what we imagined for the summer I think being a parent is all about rolling with the punches and emb embracing like just how you can make your kid comfortable because obviously that's the most important thing to us right now even right now he's sleeping he's got sweaters it's like so cold I got up here I try to get up here now early in the mornings and we have a break in the heat wave right now so I think Max and I can hang for the day but it's just been a total different experience than we had imagined when Lou started building the wall tent um I got so many people were like why did you build a tent and it's like in the end we wanted to have something that we could go up quickly and then be a base for the next project. Um, and that project is should be starting soon, but we want to just take a second, take a beat from all the projects and just have a really nice family weekend up here. Apparently it's not going to get over 75, which is like dream temperature for this kiddo with his casts on. And he hasn't figured out napping very well in the tent because it's so bright so you know we're just learning how to do the parent thing just wearing him for his naps today i think and who knows we might even stay the night um but it's just so nice to be out in nature it's nice for him to get fresh air for all of us to get fresh air and the dog could not be any happier so this is our move-in kind of story. Lou and Freya are moving in and they're really excited about it. And Max and I are just gonna do the best that we can. Um, but I'm so happy to be here. Honestly, it just like brightens my mood so much to be at the tent. It's so beautiful and has so much love in it. And it's like, if we can't live in it full time, well, as a full family this summer, I feel like it's gonna be amazing next summer. And so it's just, there's no rush. Just gotta enjoy this little precious baby and have a nice, beautiful family weekend. Dana has agreed to give me a haircut because I hate going to the hairdresser and having to make small talk for half an hour. So she's been cutting my hair for the last couple of years, but we've never tried it with a baby. Actually, that's a lie. We tried it one time and you cut it in like 20 minutes. Yeah, my fastest haircut yeah. Yeah, so we'll try one more time, see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. How quickly can I cut your hair? Mm. Just chop it. Yeah? Yeah, I don't care. You're like the best client for a rookie hairstylist. Right here. 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 Right here.
Good job, Max. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a reverse crunch. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah. Well, we made it halfway through the haircut, but it seems like Max wants some cuddles, so we are pressing pause on that activity for now. I am gonna try and feed Freya. I wanna show you the method I invented for feeding her because it's really cute. Oh, she already did it. So in order to try and keep the wild animals out of the tent, I realized it's probably a good idea to feed Freya far away from the tent in case she makes a mess because her food is pretty much the only food the animals would want since it's basically just pure raw meat and we don't eat any of that stuff. Um, so I taught her to sit on this rock when I'm getting the food and it's really cute. We don't have a command for it or anything, but if she does it while we're filming, basically what happens is I pick up the bowl and she sits on the rock and then I go inside to the freezer, get her food, put it in the bowl, walk back out and then say free and she's allowed to go off the rock. Free. So the wall tent's right there and Freya gets to eat her food over there. Not that far, but it's better than eating it inside the tent and attracting all the bears. Are we good? Baby's waking up. Haircut is done. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but she did it. I think it looks pretty good. Thank you. Come rain or shine, the dogs would be there, leaping at leaves as they sail through the air. I got you a decaf a latte. What? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Matt, Daddy got me a coffee. Hi, little. <laughs> Hi, my little. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You just woke up from his nap. Oh, I missed you. Oh, hey, how are you? You get groceries? Mm -hmm. This is going to be a one pot wonder. Max, now that you have your cat, I can't have you in the carrier while I cook because I can't carry you. Carry your feet because I need my hands. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? <laughs> That's good. Okay. Let's make some chili. What a good Saturday. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, you're in the kitchen. You're in the kitchen. We need a lot of garlic for this chili, buddy. Want to just call it for today? I think I might need to. That's fine. I think it's too hot in here for him. Okay. We'll get him home. When Max was diagnosed with the club foot, I bought this little temperature sensor and I put it in the tent and programmed it so that I get a warning on my phone anytime the temperature goes above 70 or below 45. And this way we basically just get him out of there and Dana and him head back to the comfort of the suburbs because we realized that Dana and I have kind of become specialists at being uncomfortable and we don't even notice if the temperature is like 90 and that's just like not cool for him with his casts at all. So this way we have like a little digital reminder to be extra careful with him. And now I am in charge of cleaning everything up and bringing them chili in the burbs. All right, it is a scorcher today up on the mountain, which means that Dana and Max aren't here right now, but it gives me a couple hours to build a fire pit, which I've been meaning to do for a while. 
and then they'll come up tonight once it cools down. Should be a nice little surprise. I have a pile of rocks from different like projects already picked out and I have a couple of trees actually that are ready to go in the forest that didn't end up making it into the wall tent build but I don't really want to waste them so I'm gonna chop those up and make benches hopefully. So Dana's dad had these cool cast iron pots that he bought for a camping trip or something and he gave them to us at the wall tent so we can try and figure out how to use them. I've never cooked on a setup like this before. I feel like there's no way I'm going to be able to move this by hand, but might as well give it a shot. Oh, never mind. Who's going to save you? Who's going to make you? Hey! What do you think of your new fire pit? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! Pretty cool, right? Wow! The wood is so dry. This is really something, Lou. I like how you stacked all those stones like that. Seems hot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to bite it might burn my mouth. <sighs> oh my Wow. That just tastes like childhood. Oh my goodness. Well, the campfire is a major success. It's so fun to have it, and I think it's gonna be a really special place for our family. And today was a really nice celebration because we have a lot of things to celebrate, honestly. A few days ago, Max had surgery on his foot, and it went super well. It was honestly kind of scary to have your baby go through anesthesia and all of that, but he's such a trooper and really resilient. And we also are celebrating that we got permits approved for a structure that we can live in in the winter, because I know a lot of you are like, what are you doing in a tent in the winter? And that wasn't the plan, but we have another project along the way. And yeah, right now I'm just really embracing the family time and tasting those marshmallows just made me so excited that this is like where Max is gonna grow up. The baby wants me, what's new? Um, yeah, thank you for everything and we will see you when we see ya. <laughs> That's fun, right? Yeah.